Yes, yes, yes. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. I am happy to be here. <laughs> yes, lots of hearts, Sam, lots of hearts. <laughs> um, I am so happy to be here with you. Um, we are on the cusp of spring. Um, we're getting a taste of it and uh, of the weather. And um, it's been like that probably for the last couple of weeks um, in terms of the weather. Um, the sun, a little bit of warmth in the air, and um, the birds chirping, all of those, all of the good stuff. But um, with that, a lot of times we are drawn to over committing because we've been so much um, inside, you know, so the idea of getting out and about and all of that, it, it, it lends us to um, quickening our pace. And sometimes that's not necessarily good. And so this month's series is about pace and being able to slow the pace down. And so last week we talked about um, pacing through our senses of so being able to just really slow it down by way of how we taste, by way of what we hear, um, what we see, what we feel, and whether that be physically or energetically, this idea of slowing down the pace to what we need for it to be. And so this week, we're going to focus on our breath um, of really slowing down. And so I am going to open up and I'm going to read a passage out of the book of The Awakening by Mark Nepo. And it's the passage that I read last week. But as I'm reading this, um, I welcome you to to get comfortable. Um, perhaps go by a window and crack your window. Um, and, uh, you know, if you like to, but just get comfortable, whether that be seated, whether that be um, lying down, whatever is what you feel most at ease with. And I want to say this too. Um, community care meditation is about coming as you are. So there is no set way. Um, it's about getting quiet. It's about tending to yourself. And so um, I want to encourage you to really, really um, pay attention to what your needs are. And it's not about a set way at all whatsoever. So I'm going to read this passage. And like I said before, it's out of the book of The Awakening. And if you have this book by Mark Nepo, it's the February 26th passage. And it's entitled, At the Pace of What is Real. Like most people I know, I struggle with taking too much on, with doing too many things, with moving too fast, with over committing, with over planning. I've learned that I must move quite simply at the pace of what is real. While this pace may vary, life always seems vacant and diminished when I accelerate beyond my capacity to feel what is before me. It seems we run our lives like trains, speeding along a track laid down by others, going so fast, that what we pass blurs on by. Then we say we've been there, done that. The truth is that blurring by something is not the same as experiencing it. So no matter how many wonderful opportunities come my way, no matter the importance placed on these things by others who have my best interest at heart, I must somehow find a way to slow down the train that is me until what I pass by is again seeable, touchable, and feelable. So I read this is because um, particularly now more than ever with everything that's going on, and it's really been the past two years, the past two to three years for me, um, in terms of life and particularly now with the intensity of all of what's going on um, 
externally and then internally we have our own lives we have our own stuff and it can run the spectrum of something very joyous to something that is not so comfortable this idea of slowing down the pace of being able to take care of ourselves of not over committing um, because that becomes a distraction to what we need to do and ultimately it's about us taking care of ourselves so that we can take care of others and do the things that we need to but the idea is that we first have to start with ourselves and this idea of really really slowing down and being very intentional and in slowing down it allows us to really engage and to live fully and living fully comes with a lot of stuff <laughs> i must admit but um there's a sweetness about that and so as i stated before go ahead and get comfortable and if your bio window may be slightly crack it open taking in the sounds of the outside And again, coming as you are, not trying to fix it, not trying to make it something that it's not, just coming as you are, knowing that there's space, knowing that you're enough in all of the stuff. And when you get there, just see if you can get a little bit more comfortable, whether that be grabbing an extra blanket or a pillow or leaning your head back. And as you settle, I want you to begin to anchor to ground. Perhaps that's through your breath of taking a deep breath in, exhaling out. Perhaps that's through a sound. Perhaps you hear sounds outside with the window cracked. It could even be a sensation in your body, the beating of your heart. And it could also be something that you're touching. Maybe rubbing your fingers together. But this idea of grounding, arriving. And just for these next few minutes, coming as you are and just allowing yourself space just to be setting aside all that brought you to this moment not giving it a good or bad meaning it just is and not rushing to get beyond these next few moments just allowing yourself to be present right here right now This idea of slowing down the pace. Allowing yourself to experience being with you as opposed to blur and rush in terms of being in communion in connection with yourself. Rushing. Letting that go, that sense of rushing, that sense of hurriedness. And as you continue to settle, as you continue to get even more still, 
I invite you to simply notice and feel the quality of your natural breath, not shaping it or forcing it. without judgment. And with full compassion. Again, this idea of experiencing that flow of breath. Notice if your breath is uneven. It might be quick and slow. It might be smooth and choppy. Notice the coolness of the air as you breathe in and the warmness of the air as you breathe out. Now slowly begin to help the breath become more smooth and even. Perhaps inhaling for a count of two, and then exhaling out for a count of two. Inhaling for a count of two. Exhaling out for a count of two. Notice the shift. Notice the change. Is your pace just a little bit slower? The pace of your breath. The pace of the sound that you may be grounding with. pace of the sensation. Is it slow? Perhaps the heartbeat is slowing down. The pace of the touch. Can you feel a little bit more texture as you slow down and touching and taking in the feel? Now imagine the flow of your breath like an ocean. Imagine the belly as the ocean and the chest as the shoreline. On each inhale, your breath rises like a wave from the belly to the chest and falls back again on the exhale. Again, imagine the belly as the ocean and the chest as the shoreline. On the inhale, your breath rises like a wave from the belly to the chest. And then that wave goes back out again on the exhale. Now 
allowing your breath to rise and fall naturally without effort. Continuing to anchor and ground, slowing the pace. And as we rest here in silence together in community, I invite you to continue to breathe, imagining your belly as a wave on the inhale and as you exhale that wave going back out but this idea of cleansing this idea of renewal of what spring brings this idea of fresh water cool water And we'll rest here for a good while together in community, energetically, inhaling, exhaling together. As one inhales, the other exhales. Community breath. Continuing to breathe. The belly like an ocean, that wave on the inhale, washing over you nurturing you, filling you with whatever it is that you need right at this moment, right at this time. And on the exhale, that wave going back out. And with each breath slowing down the pace, a pace to what is real, a pace that's nourishing, nourishing, a pace of support, a pace of tending. Notice how you feel. Notice your breath. 
Notice your body. Notice your soul. Notice your heart. Feel and sense the flow of breath permeate every single soul, every single cell within your body. A pace that nourishes. pace that's intentional and mindful. A pace that allows you to experience the fullness of your breath. pace that allows you to feel the fullness of your breath. Feel and sense, ground and anchor. Soften and surrender. I have learned that I must move quite simply at the pace of what is real. While this pace may vary, life always seems vacant and diminished when I accelerate beyond my capacity to feel what is before me. So no matter how many wonderful opportunities come my way, no matter the importance placed on these things by others who have my best interest at heart, I must somehow find a way to slow down, slow down the train that is me until what I pass by is again seeable, touchable, and feelable. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, I'm gonna introduce something new to community care meditations. We're gonna take our hands and actually just place them if your eyes are closed or open, just place them right here at your heart. We're gonna take our fingertips and we're just gonna tap in that area. Just slightly tap, maybe even sinking it with your breath, just tap. 
You may even want to go up your neck, come back down to the heart area. Just tapping. Let's tap that area. Maybe go up the neck, slightly tap on your face, sinking it with your breath. Maybe go around the brow, come back down around the eyes, down the face again, chin, back down to the heart. And just tenderly, not too hard, it's just a nice steady tapping. Sinking it with your breath. And when you're ready, slowly release this practice, placing the right hand on top of your heart, and then the left on top of the right or opposite, whatever. <laughs> and taking a deep breath in through the nose, exhale out. Another deep breath in, exhale out. Gently tucking the chin, showing gratitude for us being in community collectively, energetically, as one inhales, the other exhales. One communal breath, wherever we may be, Grace and peace be in you. Grace and peace be all around you. Continue to be well, continue to be safe, and continue to always take care. Thank you, thank you for the privilege of your time. And I'm so grateful for each of you that showed up now and that will watch later. Until we meet again, Ashe, and it is so. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for showing up. <sighs> you guys be well. Make sure that you're pacing yourself. <laughs> You're welcome, Sam. <laughs> oh, Ashe, Ashe, Ananda, yes. Make sure you're pacing yourself. Make sure you're taking care. Take those breaks from social media. Oh, Dion, thank you. Take those breaks from social media. Take a pause, deep breaths. Laugh, smile. Spring is upon us. Don't overdo it, step by step. But I'm so grateful for each of you, so. <laughs>